Hey everybody, it's Heather. I'm making, I'm preparing tonight my breakfast for in the morning. I wanted to have a raw breakfast. Um, I'm kind of getting away from eggs. Um, we've been doing kind of the traditional egg sandwiches and stuff for breakfast. Uh, there's really only so many ways you can eat an egg sandwich and I've kind of gotten sick of them. So I'm trying some new things and wanted to try um, a raw breakfast, um, a new one. And uh, what I had made earlier was I made um, a, our nightly juice, and it was a berry juice, lots of berries, and then we added some oranges and um, grapefruit in it. And uh, what I took was the pulp. I took that afterwards, and I decided what I was going to do was I was going to add this to some yogurt for in the morning. And then when I thought about doing the yogurt, I thought, shoot. I think I want some raw granola to go in there with it. So um, that's the part where you come in. I wanted to share like kind of all of it with you. Um, so here is the pulp. We had blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. So kind of like a berry blast. Um, and I just took the pulp and set it aside and had that in the fridge. And what I have here is just some plain yogurt. Horizon is not the best brand to use, but um, for those of you that are trying to eat healthy and you're doing yogurt, um, you need to stay away from anything that's not organic. Uh, they, the cows, um, where the milk comes from, is, um, yes, of course, milk comes from cows, <laughs> at least this kind of stuff. Uh, it, it's, they've, they've been fed a lot of hormones and things which can be very uh, detrimental to your health in small but um, consistent ways. So um, even though Horizon is not the best brand to use, if you can and you got a Whole Foods nearby, I think they've got a 300, 365 brand. We've used that before, um, when we've, but we don't have a Whole Foods near us, so um, it was kind of pick your poison. I got to choose you know, between whatever, whatever the, at the mercy of the store. And, and I don't actually um, use cow products very often, but I've kind of had a hankering for it lately, so um, I'm doing it for now, but I know eventually I'm going to either feel bad from eating it or I'm going to be sick of it. So, But anyways, what I did is I got the plane, and um, I'm going to uh, take this bowl, and this, um, I, I'm not real big on plastic, but this is a peat which is the highest uh, quality of plastic. This is an old nut container that I got from, um, from the, the store that I, grocery store that I usually shop at, their healthy living section. So um, what I'm gonna do is take a few um, spoonfuls of this. I don't like just plain yogurt. I want my stuff foo-fooed up. So uh, you literally, you could do anything that you want with something like this. You could, for, for yogurt, you actually, I think I'm going to want more. Um, you actually could, you could add carob powder, which is what this is. Um, I bought this online. Um, if I can remember, oh, it's Z Natural Foods. I found them online. They had the best price. They um, appear to be organic. And uh, they didn't charge me a ton for shipping, which I was pretty impressed with because most everybody else, they charge you the same rates and then they charge you out the butt for shipping. So I was pretty cool with that. Um, so anyways, you could add, if you wanted chocolate yogurt, you know, you could add carob powder, which carob is a lot like um, chocolate. It kind of has the chocolate taste, gives me the chocolate, the fill for my chocolate craving, but I don't have the added caffeine. I know I keep saying that in my videos, but um, I don't know who's watching what, because some people are watching on naturalnews.tv, and some people are watching on YouTube. But if you're going to my YouTube channel, I ask you to subscribe. Um, it's food equals med. I think it's food equals medicine. YouTube. Um, slash food equals medicine but um, or you can go to my website and find them from there my website is www.foodequalsmedicine.com um, anyways enough of my commercial <laughs> what I also have and I didn't get out is um, vanilla I'm gonna add just a splash of vanilla because I like my yogurt to be vanilla-ish and um, I'm going to mix that up 
and it doesn't have any sweeten. I tried to give my son some of this earlier because he's like been really wanting yogurt lately. And um, I added the vanilla and gave it to him and he's like, Mama, I'm full of fat. He's four. And um, he really did not like it at all and he didn't like really know how to tell me that he thought it was disgusting. This is Stevia. Um, I just have the packet because I haven't um, recently had the money, the extra money to spend, you know, $13 on a bottle of stevia, but the drops are better. This actually has maltodextrin in it, um, which is not good for you. Uh, but, you know, um, I'm the queen of do the best with what I've got where I'm at. So um, I try to just kind of tell people do the best you can. You know, um, you just really kind of have to try to, with, with eating healthy, you have to take steps of faith You just have to kind of take steps of faith, you know, with, um, that tastes good. And so there's my vanilla yogurt. And then, um, I'm not going to add this until in the morning. Unfortunately, you probably won't see this part, but, um, it's going to be super, super yummy. I'm going to add, um, this on the bottom, put the vanilla, um, yogurt on top, and then, uh, I'll probably have it in a nice little glass, and then I'll put the granola on top. This is actually a ton of granola. But here's my recipe for granola. It's going to be, you're going to need two cups of oatmeal. What I took was regular, hang on, I'll show you. Also being the queen of where I'm at. Um, this comes from the HEB bulk section of um, my grocery store. And I can just kind of get it by the scoop. I put a cup of this and I mixed it up. I uh, also have some organic, um, it's organic instant. <laughs> I'm not really sure how healthy that is for you, but I'm kind of just trying to throw this together where I'm at. Um, so I put uh, a cup of that and a cup of the organic um, one from the grocery store that's in the packets. Uh, I use that. So I've got two cups of oatmeal and um, I put two tablespoons of carob powder then um, you could use like one cup of blueberries if you wanted or um, just whatever fruit you want. I just kind of make and do with what I have. Um, what I put was I put, um, this is a apricot, dried apricots, and it's pretty much all I had other than some leftover uh, organic currants. Currants are kind of like, um, they're kind of like raisins, but they're itty bitty uh, when they're dried. But um, I'm just kind of adding all of this. These will kind of help it stick. The fruit will. And um, it's going to taste really good too. And what I've, I've already kind of mixed this up. I got like in the middle of doing this and then realized, shoot, I could make a video. Um, so then I also, you could use one half of a cup of Bob Mills um, uh, cookie mix. But I didn't have any of that. That's what I normally would use. Um, so instead I'm going to use, I use some whole wheat flour. What that does is just kind of help it stick together a little bit. And I'm not real big on flour. I believe flour makes you fat. So anything with flour, um, stay away from your baking section. But, I mean, given that we eat about 80% raw and we're going even more raw, um, I don't mind making those, those, uh, start, what do you call them? <laughs> Lost the word. Uh, brain flagellants. Um, I don't like mind making those um, those changes just momentarily for something like this. But anyway, so you'll um, you'll take all of that and mix it up. Oh, um, so sorry. I have the oatmeal, the carob powder. You could put like a cup of blueberries. I didn't. I just put a cup of um, of dried apricots and a little bit of currants kind of mix those together and that was about a cup and then I added a half of a cup of whole wheat flour like I said you could use the Bob Mills mix if you want um, I took two cups of uh, coconut flakes basically when I bust the coconuts open I just take the coconut that's left over and put it in a dehydrator and dehydrate it um, so you can use either fl coconut flakes or you can use shredded, shredded coconut I had coconut that was shredded and then um, you could do one cup of dried cherries, that would be really nice, but I didn't have that. 
So um, I'm just kind of throwing stuff in here that I have. And um, let's see. So here I am. I'm at the coconut water. I already have the, the recipe calls for three-fourths of a cup. But um, what I'm going to do is just kind of try to add a little bit and see. I don't want to add too much because if you add too much, you'll make it too wet. And um, it'll take forever to make. So that was about half of a cup. You want it just enough to kind of get it all wet. But not too much to make it um, sobby, like, like soggy. Yeah, it is going to need a little bit more. So a little bit more. Just kind of drizzle it in there. Mix it all up. What's ideal is if you have this in a bowl, with like a big bowl with a, um, with a lid, and then just shake it, but um, all of mine are currently occupied by other things, so I'm doing it this way. And then, um, see that's the right consistency, that's about right. So then what I'm going to do also is I'm going to add, I'm just going to drizzle some raw honey on the top of it to kind of help it sweeten it and um, help it to stick. You don't really want to use too much honey. The honey helps it stick and kind of hold it together once it's um, you know, dehydrating or, or cooking in the oven, but you really um, you want to try to keep the, your glycemic level lower if you can. So don't add too much. Uh, that's probably about a tablespoon, um, which is generous because Usually with the Bob Mills mix, it's got a little bit of um, probably organic sugar or something in it, but this is probably for the better. I don't really like the added sugar. I try to stay away from processed sugars altogether um, just because they, they really mess with your, with your blood sugar in a bad way. <clears throat> so the best kind of sugar you should get is get it in, the, um, in fruits. So those... And I, <laughs> Let me just address this for one second. Um, I met somebody at the local grocery store, and she works for a fitness place. And I wrote a blog about this the other day that you can see. It's, um, you can find my blog on my website, but uh, I wrote a blog about it because I just I was angered whenever I found out that she heard somebody, uh, one of the other trainers at her fitness place, gym or whatever um, that she works at, tell somebody that was um, trying to diet that they needed to stay away from um, fruits to try to stay away from sugar because they were diabetic or something. And that is the worst thing that you can tell people because their bodies, you need sugar. You need sugar to get energy. So your body is craving it when you need it, when you need energy. And if you're not going to fruits, then you're going to go to processed sugars and um, things like aspartame, which is the NutraSweet, and these other artificial sweeteners, which are horrible for you. So. The best sugar you can get is from fruit. Uh, anyways, with that said, I'll get off my soapbox. So um, this is going to be the granola. And then what you'll do is you'll take this granola and you'll um, put it on your dehydrator tray. And you'll flatten it out. And you'll put it in there for about, um, and don't, don't overfill it. This is probably enough to fill up two of those trays. Um, what you want to do is just kind of spread it a little bit as, as thin as you can, you know, uh, even though it's kind of chunky mix. And then you'll dehydrate it for at probably 115 degrees for um, just depending, you know, uh, everybody's are kind of different, but I think it'd be about 12 to 15 hours. Uh, or if you don't have a dehydrator or you're lazy, um, like I'm fixing to be, I'm not going to wait all night long with my dehydrator because mine doesn't have, I have one of the, um, the old school beginner ones right now until I can get an Excalibur. And so uh, I'm, like I said, being the queen of doing the best where I'm at with what I've got. Um, I'm just going to kind of throw it in the oven tonight. But uh, anyway, so I, I'm going to throw it in there for three at, at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. And that should get it just about right. But to keep it raw, you really want to um, not be cooking it. Uh, you want to try to put it in the dehydrator. But anyway, so tomorrow morning my, my breakfast is going to be the yogurt with the um, pulp from my juice. So don't think that you're always wasting stuff. You can use this stuff for other things like yogurt, fruit fillings and stuff. And I'm probably going to add a little bit of stevia to this to sweeten it too so it's not sour tasting. 
but uh, or you can add agave nectar or honey um, to sweeten as well so anyways so that's all I've got um, that's raw granola have a great evening and morning and day